Hey guys and welcome back to Graphic Designer Pro. In this video we're going to be comparing the Pathfinder and Shape Builder tool in Adobe Illustrator. Now both these tools have their uses, however we're going to highlight some key differences and when to use each one. So let's jump straight in and have a look now. Okay so on screen you'll see we already have a template file set up and we're going to run through a few different scenarios for each tool and where they kind of can be used most effectively. So starting in the top left, we have what looks like a bit of a mess right now. If I change to my outline view by pressing Command and Y, you can see we have various shapes set up here. So some circles and some rectangles, and we're just gonna try and create a kind of simple monogram here using the Shape Builder tool. This is where the Shape Builder tool is really useful because we can essentially create a bunch of shapes like this and plot them out with the idea of merging or subtracting parts of each one. So I'll show you what I mean by that. If I select all of this, you can kind of see the highlighted shapes we have here. I'm going to grab my Shape Builder tool on the left hand side and I already know the areas that I want to remove and merge. So we're essentially creating an R combined with an F here. This is just a rough example but it's just to show you how this works. So you can see with all of these shapes selected, if I hover over any of the overlapping paths, the sections between will highlight. And what I can do is I can simply click and drag over some of these sections and they will get merged together. So really easy way to do this. I can also subtract areas, so holding the Alt key, you'll see my cursor changes to a minus and again if I click and drag over any of these it's going to remove those areas. So I'll continue that down here and the rest of this I'm just going to merge together. So again, just clicking and dragging over all of these areas, that's going to merge it into a single shape here. Now with this still selected, you can see we have the kind of leg portion of the R down here as well. I don't have to click and drag either. If I just hold Alt here and just click on an area, that will also remove it. So I can just do that by clicking but sometimes when you know there's a, a sort of whole section that you want to delete, it's easiest just to click and drag over it. So I'm just gonna move this back up. I'm gonna select both of these and just use my alignment tools to position this how I want it. Another cool thing we can do with the Shape Builder is if I select our objects again and grab the Shape Builder, I'm going to change the color here. So we'll select a, a blue color. And now if I use my Shape Builder tool, and click and drag across these, it will actually adopt the new color that we've selected as well. So we can actually predetermine the color that we want the shapes that we're merging to be. So that's the first example. Moving down here, you can see again, we have a whole different bunch of shapes and lines here. So nothing too complicated, but when you have a lot of them, it can be quite sort of overwhelming. Now I know what I'm trying to achieve here and I just want to show you that we can use the Shape Builder with outlined paths as well. So again, if I hover over any of these sections, you can see we can create shapes from any of the overlapping paths. So the way I set this up, these are separate circles here, but when I select all of this with my Shape Builder, I can essentially click on any one of these sections and create a shape out of it. Now, what I was just saying is we can also do this with the individual paths as well. So to begin with, I'm just going to get rid of these outer sections. You can see we have all of these extending lines going outside of the circle. So to get rid of them, again, all I have to do is hold the Alt key and click and drag over these points. If I hover over one of them, you can see that section of the path turns red. So that's just denoting that this path will be deleted by holding Alt and clicking on it. So I'll continue around the rest of this. So I want to get rid of the lines inside this kind of eye shape here. So again, just holding Alt, I'm just gonna click and drag around here and then I want to merge all the shapes within these two circles so merge all of these and again on the inner eye point as well. 
there you go there's another sort of simple use of it we can use this with lines or sort of filled shapes it works with both now comparing this to the pathfinder so the pathfinder was the kind of old way of doing these kinds of things but the shape builder has allowed us much more speed to kind of merge shapes easily where the pathfinder still has its strengths is in kind of busier situations so for example i have a hexagon here and i have a bunch of kind of outlined shapes here in this scenario i want to essentially subtract all of these shapes from the hexagon in behind so i want to kind of punch these shapes out of the hexagon so at the moment they're sitting in their own group they have a fill of white just to show you that they are punched out what i'll do is i'll just drag a box in behind here and give it just a slight light gray color okay so you can see that our shapes on top have a fill of white if i now just select both of these now i could use the shape builder tool and holding the minus option individually remove each of these from the hexagon however that would take quite a long time given how many shapes there are on here what's easier than that is if i just go into my pathfinder panel here we have a minus front option so if i just click that that's essentially just punched all of those shapes out. What I'll do is if I change the color of the background square here, you can see that this is definitely punched out from that shape. Another thing we can do is if I grab my ellipse tool here, and I'm just going to pull out a circle from this hexagon. So another good use of the Pathfinder tool is if I just want to crop the design we have in behind here to the area of this circle, make it a different color just so it's a bit more obvious here i can select both of these again the shape builder tool we could do this by kind of removing all the paths sitting outside of the circle however again that's going to take a long time with a busier design like this so even easier than that we can go over to our pathfinder and we have a crop option in the kind of advanced pathfinder options here so i just click this you can see we now have the cropped version of that as well. This is another really helpful use of the Pathfinder tool. Moving across, this is another example. Just again, just to show you, we have a kind of busy texture going on here. There's lots of different parts to it. So again, with the Shape Builder tool, this would take a long time to individually go over every little bit of this texture to remove it from the circle and behind. But all I need to do here is select both of them click the minus front and again if I draw another circle next to this you can better show you that this has now been punched out send it to the back and you can see that this has actually been removed from the circle so these instances the pathfinder is much the superior tool to use one last one we're just going to actually use a quick combination of both tools so i've selected all these you can see these are just paths with a stroke applied to it i'm going to initially use the shape builder tool and that's just because i want to remove some of the lines here so with it i'm just going to click on them and remove the sections that i don't want So it is often a good idea to use both tools just depending on what you're doing and what's going to be quickest. In the instance up here I can click and drag over these lines sitting above the curved line because I know it's not creating a closed shape. Likewise down below. So I'll just finish this up by removing these points and you can see we are now slowly creating a kind of DNA helix design here okay so what I'm going to do from here is just select everything go to object and expand and this is just going to create outlined shapes instead of strokes here and this is just another scenario where I could use the shape builder tool to merge all of this but again I'm going to have to go over each overlapping point and make sure it's all merged as one but even easier than that is if I just go over to my pathfinder we have a unite option and that's just going to basically merge everything that's selected I just click that once you can see everything now has merged so that's just one click of the button so hopefully that's given you a good insight into each of these tools and where you should be using each one 
We'd say the Shape Builder is probably the, the stronger of the two tools in its versatility. You can do a lot with it and fairly easily. However, if you've got a much busier design and you're trying to merge or subtract a lot of elements from another element, then that's where the Pathfinder tool can be quicker and easier to use. So it's just about kind of knowing these tools inside out and knowing when to apply each of them. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that comparison. Do let us know in the comments down below which is your preferred tool and if you have any other points you'd like to add to this. Remember to like the video, subscribe for more videos like this and check out the link in the description for more graphic design tips and content. See you next time.